Hey guys, this is Fury91, and I'm talking about Gamescom. Now, remember how Gamescom was delayed until August due to COVID-19? Well, it seems like they're not sure whether they're going to be able to have the live event, so they're not ruling out actually having it in physical form, but if they don't, they're basically saying they're still going to have it as a digital presentation, I guess. Kind of like how in my E3 going digital video, it seems like Gamescom may be going that same route. Now... Here's the thing though, I'm not sure whether Gamescom can really do that because E3 to me, the biggest thing to E3 is those press conferences where we get the gaming news and we get the developers coming up and talking about their games and whatnot. Those are the biggest things at E3. But Gamescom to me is more about the live show. I don't know, I've never been. I just think that Gamescom is more about the physically being there and trying out the demos and whatnot as opposed to digital presentations. So I'm not exactly sure how Gamescom would be done digitally. I, I feel like it would be way, way too short since Gamescom is supposed to be going from August 25th. Now, I do have a, my own little thoughts of how they may be able to do it digitally. I was thinking maybe each day you simply have a certain amount of time allotted to certain types of so I was thinking maybe like on the 25th, they just have like indie devs and then the 26th be about Nintendo, 27th be about Microsoft, 28th be about Sony or whatever. What I mean is that I think they could like maybe just section off each digital thing where people from that genre of gaming would just come out and they would like where people from that field of gaming would come out and they just talk about their games, show game trailers, show gameplay and stuff like that. And I think that Gamescom could just charge maybe for the amount of time they're on it or something like that. Other than that, I don't know how they do it digitally, but it is good to see them still having it because as I was saying in my other Gamescom video, it seems like a lot of indie devs really rely on, on events like Gamescom to get their games out there. And it is good they're still having it and hopefully these indie devs can get out there and they can get out to the world and a lot of people buy their indie games. Because let's face it, most indie devs don't have that much money, so they don't have money to actually get their game out there on other platforms. So. Events like Gamescom, I think, really are their bread and butter when it comes to getting their product out there. But what do you guys think about Gamescom going digital, possibly, this year? And how do you guys think they'll do it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching the like, subscribe, and God bless you all.